Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for July 6th of 2023 well, it is titled titled Fireworks versus Supermoon. So what do we see here? Well, here we see an image from July 4th and image showing fireworks in the foreground and behind them we see our moon. And in fact, the full moon was full on July 3rd, just a day before this image was taken. So it'll still look pretty close to full at this point. Now the fireworks in the foreground give an impressive show, but we also are looking at what we call a super moon. Now a super moon occurs when the full moon occurs near perigee. What is perigee? Perigee is the point in the moon's orbit when it is closest to Earth. So the moon orbits Earth in an elliptical orbit, not a perfect circle. So it doesn't always keep the same distance from Earth. Sometimes it's a little bit closer. That's what we call perigee. And other times it's a little further away. And we call that apogee. Now, when something is closer to you, it's going to look a little bit bigger in the sky. And when something is farther away, it's going to look a little smaller. So that means that the size of the moon will change. Now, would you notice this yourself? No. If you just went out to look at the full moon here, you probably would not have noticed that this full moon was any larger and brighter than any other full moon that you may have seen in the past. But if you could, if you had images, for example, you could actually see that the moon was a little bigger than other full moons. Now, this is the first of four full moons that will occur in 2023. So we haven't had one yet. But now over the next few months, we will have several times where the full moon will occur close to perigee. And again, that's when it is closest. So it's going to appear largest in the sky, uh, giving us the larger view of what we call the super moon. Now, this type of thing occurs for other objects as well, that sometimes the sun will appear a little bit larger in the sky because of Earth's elliptical orbit. And there are times in January when Earth is closer to our sun, and therefore the sun would look a little bit larger. And the sun would look a little bit smaller when we are farthest from the sun in July. However, the Earth's orbit is not as elliptical as the moon. So the differences in the size of the moon are going to be much more noticeable and significant than differences in the size of the sun. So while the sun would slightly change, it would not be near as noticeable as the moon. And we've already talked about how the moon isn't really very noticeable. Now this also has an impact on eclipses. When the moon appears a little larger, then it is much more likely to block out the sun and to block out the sun for a longer period of time. So if the new moon were to occur during a perigee, which would be the opposite of what we're seeing here, the new moon occurring during perigee would mean the moon would be a little bit larger when it blocks out the sun and would give us a longer eclipse. So depending on the timing of year, when you get the moon at its largest and the sun at its smallest, you can get the longest duration eclipse that can occur. So here today we get to see the supermoon, the first one of 2023, with in front of it the fireworks display from July the 4th. So that was our picture of the day for July 6th of 2023. It was titled Fireworks versus Supermoon. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture. So until then, have a great day, everyone, and I will see you in class.